Hello, this is Matt from Tracy and Matt.co.uk. I'm from Unboxings.com, and here we are looking at the Boxwave keyboard buddy case uh, for the iPhone 4. Now, there are lots of um, iPhone keyboards out there, Bluetooth keyboards out there, and thousands and thousands of iPhone cases. Uh, but where this is different is that um, it's actually both keyboard and case in one. So on top we have uh, this small instruction guide telling us how to um, you know, set everything up. And inside we have a USB, a mini USB cable that's used for actually charging the battery inside the um, case itself. And then we have the keyboard and case. So uh, the top portion really is like uh, any other, very similar to any other keyboard uh, or uh, case for uh, the iPhone in the, the way it clips around and it's got the cutout on the side and the cutout for the actual camera on the back. And obviously the iPhone will just pop in like so. It's pretty snug but holds things nice and secure and uh, does give uh, you protection should you sort of drop it and also obviously against the uh, dreaded antenna problem and signal problem. Uh, but where we have a difference is in the keyboard. So we have this sliding keyboard mechanism which makes it a bit maybe like some of the HTC devices like the Titan, Titan 2, uh, that kind of affair with this sliding mechanism. But the case slides open to reveal uh, a decent size QWERTY keyboard with four rows of keys uh, which is good because uh, there is actually a uh, numeric row of keys rather than having to use shift or anything like that to actually get uh, to the numeric keys. A uh, couple of indicator LEDs there which you can just perhaps see there for that tells us when we've got shift and function uh, used as well or Bluetooth pairing something like that. And uh, But there's a couple of indicator LEDs there and as you can see there are some shortcut keys there's one for uh, the internet there uh, there's a keyboard shortcut key there I assume that just turns the key on-screen keyboard on and off as well. So it's pretty cool. Uh, around the outside, it's really only on the bottom that we need to look. So we have uh, what looks like a little bit of a reset button, might be a pairing button. The connector there is a mini USB for charging it, and then the switch on the bottom for actually switching it on, which brings us a Bluetooth LED there, which will flash away. Now we can switch it off again. So when we turn it on, uh, we would just pair it on the iPhone, which I'm not going to do right now, uh, because I don't think got, we haven't got any battery, it hasn't been charged, uh, but you basically just pair it over Bluetooth and uh, when you actually want to use the keyboard just flick it on, or just leave it on in fact. Uh, according to uh, Boxwave, the battery life uh, for the keyboard is up to 45 days, which is quite incredible. Uh, and it does just charge over the same the standard mini USB. Now obviously it does add some bulk to your iPhone. There's no real getting away from that if you're adding a keyboard such as that. It's going to add some bulk. So obviously the keyboard keys and the battery and the sliding mechanism really are actually obviously included in that. So it does add some bulk. It adds a little bit of weight. Not really anything significant. But obviously it does add to the thickness. Bit of a compromise if you want a uh, proper keyboard. But uh, you know acceptable nonetheless. Um, I'll be reviewing this over the next couple of days and uh, checking it out. I mean, I do like um, having a physical keyboard. But I think really the beauty of the iPhone is that it is slim light and uh, obviously it's touch screen. So let's see how that stacks up over the next couple of days. I'll have a full review for you. Uh, I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracymat.co.uk. But for now, thanks for watching. Bitdefender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives, so working with unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.